Hi guys and welcome to another landing page lab live audit. Um, for those of you who haven't seen this before, we basically we go into landing page lab, um, our Facebook group, and we ask our members to drop links in the lab. And then all we do is we take those links and we carry out a live audit. So we offer hints, tips, uh, improvements based on the conversion principles that we've built up over the last seven years of running landing page guys. Now with that in mind, if you are watching this on YouTube and you aren't a member of the landing page lab yet, head over to landingpagelab.com and that will redirect you to this Facebook group um, where you can join uh, other members in sharing conversion tips and knowledge and um, everything you need to be improving your conversion rate. Alternatively, if you're in the landing page lab and you're watching this and you aren't subscribed to our YouTube channel, then head over to YouTube, tap in landing page guys in the search bar and then hit that nice big red subscribe button right there. And we're sharing lots of different knowledge on here, um, hints, tips, interviews, webinars, they're all going on here. So uh, be sure to jump on, subscribe so that you're getting notified when the latest content goes up. Now, uh, these landing page audits that we are carrying out, what we do is we take a few every week. We're trying to do as many as we possibly can uh, to be able to add value to our members inside the lab. We're already hearing of lots of different success stories uh, from different verticals, different people all around the world selling different products that implement these strategies. Now, if we haven't or we don't necessarily audit your page uh, on these, you can still watch the whole video, take notes and implement some of the uh, strategies that we're talking about because um, they're universal, they can make massive differences no matter what page you're working on. Again, we balance it and we'll try and show you different pages uh, so that you get an idea of what we're talking about. Um, so yeah, jump into Landing Page Lab is 100% free to join um, and you, you'll have the opportunity to obviously pick up these tips and implement them. Okay, so I'm going to go through as many as I can in here. Before I get started, a couple of things I want to run over. So firstly, uh, just a couple of tools that we use when we are auditing, auditing sorry, landing pages um, on these sessions. So first one is built with super useful tool. Um, you just pop the URL out of the landing page in here, um, and then that will show you what the page is built with, what technologies it uses. Um, which can be super useful when you're, you're implementing strategies on your own landing page. Second one, super important one, if you don't know already, we talk about it a lot in the lab, um, is tools.pingdom.com. Uh, this is a website, speed test, and obviously this is one of the biggest factors when it comes to your landing page conversion. Um, I'll run over some of the other factors shortly, and then you'll see them throughout the audits, but uh, the load speed <clears throat> of your page is super critical um, and again there's if you can decrease that as much as possible even something like a one second decrease in the load time can have upwards of 10 percent increase in your conversion rate seven to ten percent we've seen it uh, many different figures but it's a critical factor and one we live by all the time now um, another couple of considerations before we delve into the audits uh, when we are running through these things we find it's always useful to consider four varying factors when you're building your landing page building or optimizing your landing page um, and effectively that is broken down into these four things so first thing is strategy so when you're building your landing page Take the time to consider um, a few things. So like who your main user is, uh, what voice you're gonna be using to speak to them, uh, who they are, where they come from, their stage of the buying cycle, and obviously their intent. It may be that you are, you're retargeting to users. It may be that you're targeting cold traffic on something like native. Um, and the intent is always different. So you may need advertorials or pre-lands before them. You may already have those. You may not. So depending on the intent, whilst the page will still follow very um, very similar principles and structures, which I'll run through, um, it's worth considering those so that you've got the optimal messaging for your page. Again, we run through these pages. You may have multiple pages depending on who and how you're targeting them. Um, so that's strategy first. And then there's obviously the design. So that takes into account the flow of the design, how the user flows through that page, 
the emotions they're feeling as they go through the page, the colors, the different conversion and persuasion uh, principles and triggers on the page. So you'll see, you'll hear me discuss the design quite a lot in this, um, and it's really what we specialize in our landing page guys. Then you've got the copy, so you've got to consider the uh, the proposition that you're offering, the benefits that you're um, putting forward to the user, and their and the journey they lead for. Again, it's got to be emotive, so your headlines have to capture attention. They have to really speak to the user and tell a story. Um, and then there's development. So number four is development. So again, super critical. Something we focus on. Uh, landing page guys and something we speak about a lot in the lab so the development side of things that covers your load speed your cross browser compatibility so how it's reacting in different browsers on different operating systems because you may find that there's conflicts uh, with different browsers or things act in different ways um, which is always good fun for us it's good fun for you guys but just make sure you're checking all those things um, there's obviously uh, mobile optimization that comes under development too so all of these things now you'll start to see these coming through as i'm auditing the pages um and then obviously the, the final thing a bit of a bonus number five here is obviously always be testing these things um, as you're going along so take some of these uh, principles and strategies that we discuss and then uh, put them into action so something like simple google optimize or vwo.com for some simple testing um keep it as simple as possible don't try and chuck too many tests in at once but again implementing even a small handful of the strategies that we discuss in these audits should have a massive uplift to your conversions. Um, and, and that's obviously what we hope happens here. So uh, without further ado, I think it's time that we jump into the audits. So um, we've got a few selected here um, that have been dropped in this week. So we'll start from the top with what we have here is Wifty Straps. Okay, so. Um, just to bear in mind, when I'm auditing these pages, I've opened these up. This is my first time of really looking at them. So I may pause. I may take some time to consider and think about what I'm saying um, on the audit. But obviously, it's important that we're just viewing these for the first time to get first impression. Whilst I'm on that note, a really cool thing you can be doing with your landing pages um, is something called a five-second test. So this, uh, there is actually a website for it. But you can do this with anyone that you may know. It could be family members or friends, preferably someone uh, from your captive core audience, because again, different colors, different messaging, um, and different pages speak to different people. But basically the five second test is just gonna allow you to show your page to someone for five seconds. And then all it asks is a series of questions about what they remember, what they recall, what popped out to them, what was obvious, um, and that's super helpful because you've got a limited time to be able to capture attention of your users. So um, those five seconds really, really count. So depending on what comes back from your test, whether it's someone you speak to, you can look at optimizing your page based on that. Um, so if I go back to uh, Wifty Straps, I can I can see uh, based on the name and based on what I'm looking at that it's a watch strap. Um, what it looks like it says multiple watch straps. So I'm just sorry, just going to quick a quick look through the page. I mean, looking at this, I would say that this may be someone that's actually watched uh, an audit before and has implemented some of the things. So that's cool. Um, hopefully that's the case anyway. If not, well done. Either way for what you've done here, but still a few things I noticed. So um, massive, massive thing with e-commerce is. Um, I mean, we preach it all the time. Oliver's preached it before on other audits and videos that he's done. Um, but when you're driving paid traffic to an e-commerce product or an e-commerce um, platform, it's vital that you're leveraging a really dedicated conversion oriented landing pages. Um, so with that in mind, obviously, when you're building your store, you will have a product page. Um, we need to sort of jump out of that to get to a, a landing page that really speaks to the consumer, tells them what the product is and the benefits. So when I first go on this page, obviously it does look like a product page um, at the top of the page. That there's not necessarily a strong proposition here that captures me and the image is strong. Maybe you could get um, a, a live image, something being used, not necessarily product images. These could be featured further down the page. Uh, either a video or something being used. Um, in terms of critical elements, there's no real strong proposition. 
great to have this social proof above the fold really good that's cool so when we talk about critical elements above the fold supporting image a strong proposition now that proposition can either tell a problem with a solution or it can just uh, directly show a benefit so a landing page guys we've got skyrocket your uh, business sales and conversions with our high converting landing pages so we're instantly putting the benefit in front of the user and then telling them how we do it so you want to be trying to do the same here now for a watch um watch straps uh, that could be anything about um let's have a look uh so these are features more than benefits and again we, we always want to try and speak to the user with benefit fits so if you look at um Again, both very successful companies, but if you look at Apple versus Samsung, you will notice that one, um, you can probably guess, speaks a lot about uh, emotion. So they show stories, they show how to capture stories, whereas one speaks about features. Um, so in, in their instance, if you're looking at the iPhone, iPhone versus a Samsung, Samsung may speak about uh, their 12 megapixel camera and um, all the different features they've got whereas Apple will go on to show a story of uh, a new parent capturing their, their children doing new things for the first time so totally different things so if you can try and get the benefits up front and that's always key so critical elements would be the strong proposition supporting image um, social proof which you've got and then obviously the call to action so you're definitely doing some things right here in the sense of you've got the social proof you've got the uh, the call to action here and you've supported it actually with some very um, critical uh, elements so you've obviously reassured the customer that it's compatible with their product before purchasing you've then uh, included the trust seals and payment logos so secure checkout perfect and all the payments you accept so that's excellent you've also leveraged the emojis on buttons this is something uh, we've had a lot of success with and our clients have had a lot of success with at landing page guys recently um, emojis on buttons not only draw attention to it but they're, they're eliciting action as well so really cool so the only thing i'd say about above the fold um, is to, to get a stronger proposition that really speaks to the user um, and if you can turn these into benefits i mean it's perfect that you've got things summarized and it's good that you've got an odd number of them for some reason odd numbers were better whether it be three five seven they seem to perform better based on our experience and data um, so this is really good another thing to notice here is that you've got um, this menu at the top now that could technically be a traffic leak and a distraction um, I'm aware that these are important maybe not going to another product um, but the contact and cart could be but they could just be a small icon in the top and the contact could be um, in the footer of the page just to minimize any distraction to the user uh, moving down the page let's just see what you go you can see again telling the story really like that um, really cool but again if we can just try and get some benefits in here um, to the user maybe tell them how they'll feel when what will happen when they're wearing this watch strap just nice big clear benefits maybe three of them so um so i think to note when talking about this design is that we leverage the ada principle when we're designing landing pages and we obviously uh, encourage you guys to so the ada principle being um, an acronym for attention interest desire and action so this isn't only relevant in the sections it's also relevant as you flow down the page so you're using this hero section to capture that attention. Now I mentioned you've only got seconds to do so. So um, using those critical elements, you can capture attention. So that's that strong proposition, the supporting image, the social proof. Um, then you go on to interest. So again, to get people's interest, you, you really need to try and get them into the story, pull them into the page. So first thing we like to see when doing that is that you tell them the benefits or show them the benefits of the product just what it's really going to do for them so start speaking to them nice strong headline with that um, and then you can move on to the features in that sense so you don't need to omit them from the page but just um, <clears throat> notice that certain things come before it with the features and just see if you've got them on here Again, you've got some really cool images which could be utilized um, further up the page <clears throat> I mean, these are kind of features. This is more of a how it works again, which comes into the interest section. So um, these features that you've got here could really be uh, played upon. So you've got your benefits, 
then your features of the product so you're really getting the interest of your consumer now and then we'll move on to desire which you've got and it's great here so you've got I mean this is great because you've used a number maybe try and make it a more absolute number um, especially if you can have it as a, a live number then brilliant obviously um, but social proof in the desire section is key so you've got some really cool things here you've got this social proof here and you've got <clears throat> this social proof here which is excellent really cool um, the only thing I'd say I'm aware this is a plugin I'm aware this has happened before um, but just check the settings and um, if you can preferably just have it only show the reviews with names because um, sometimes these ones that popped up can just um, air a lack of trust um, when viewing the page again just just tidy this up as well make sure it's clean um, only small things um, <clears throat> but that's good so you've got the social proof so you are allowed when you get on the page just make sure you're doing it in a, a cleaner flow really cool now this information again very cool so this could this can either go just above the social proof so it's still piquing the interest of the consumer or what it could do is again you've got I think you've watched an audit before looking at this because you've got an FAQ section here which is perfect make the um, make the questions more relevant so as if the user is directly asking you the question um, use that just to, to get more information across to the consumer so um, how does shipping work what are the specifications of the watches how do I adjust the length and answer as many questions as you possibly can um, so that your user doesn't have to contact you or go elsewhere looking for the answers can I wear it in a certain scenario does it go with this outfit um, is it waterproof any questions that you may get um, obviously get them in here and again if you can have five or seven in here the more <clears throat> the better and then uh, the last section of that ADA principle is action so you've got that action here I would look at strengthening this um, it's obviously a very clear action section but if you you have the opportunity here to do a few things um, if you can get a whole section on it you can do a few things you can recapture the attention of the consumer so you can resell them that proposition that benefit so they've been through this journey you've got them really interested you've got people they've seen people using your product they're getting excited now you've just answered their questions and then you hit them again with that emotive proposition so you don't want them to miss out again you can use persuasion principles here maybe scarcity or um, some trust or something like that just to to give them that one last hit and say look get this today here are the benefits it's as easy as this i mean you've even got some really cool um, features here that there's free shipping there's no hassle returns and the satisfaction guaranteed i didn't see them mentioned up here which could be huge um yeah don't see them mentioned anywhere apart from let's see there's this um a small area in the footer so really consider emphasizing these but yes on this last last action section just similar to your top section get that strong proposition get that action in place um and give the the user no reason to want to leave the page so um yeah generally uh great start here um <clears throat> what i'll do quickly before i jump off of here is i will just quickly test the speed of the page again so tech wise <coughs> sorry tech wise I always consider things like load speed is huge um, your mobile optimization as well a lot of traffic is mobile these days um, and you have to consider how users are flowing through the journey on a mobile page so when I say that I don't just mean take all of these elements and stack them make sure it makes sense make sure they're going through that same ADA journey and you're omitting any irrelevant assets from that journey just because obviously again when you've got limited real estate on that screen you want to make sure your core elements are above the fold and that they still go through that emotive journey so let's have a quick look at this load speed whilst we're on here okay so jet for a shopify setup uh, very good load speed there are still some optimizations that can be done so worth speaking to a developer about getting these done um, but generally you're looking very good again i'm looking you can probably compress some images or serve them on a cdn which would make a big difference but just be careful not to lose the quality um, okay, cool. So that's with the straps. Um, bear with me, guys. I'm just going to take a quick sip of my drink. Okay, 
And just a quick reminder, obviously, if you are not inside the lab already, um, just head to landingpagelab.com, uh, hit that join button, and one of our team will approve you to join the group. 100% free to join. Roll with sharing hints and tips in there. More audits to come. So um, obviously, we want, we want you to be in there. We want you to be sharing your landing pages. We want you to be implementing tips and succeeding. So be sure to head over and join. Right, I'm going to head over to the next page on the audit, which is Lumi Protect by Lumita. So we've got a floodlight here. <clears throat> So just a quick look through the page. Cool. Again, I reckon this may be another user who's watched one of the audits before. Um, generally, that's looking very good. Let me just um, take this. I'll run the speed test whilst I'm doing this audit. <clears throat> generally, really cool. Again, so in terms of the overall flow of the page, you look like you're leveraging the ADA principle, principle perfectly. So you've got this very clean and clear um, uh, attention section sorry so when the user is landing on your page you are giving them a proposition you are giving them um, an odd number of uh, what have we got a mix of features and benefits so you've got some benefits in here really cool so really play on these and if you've got more utilize them you've got your social proof really good so a face to it um, a name really cool obviously you've got an image of the product very important calling out a feature here which is great and then your action so with those supporting elements um, Oliver's mentioned on many audits before but super super critical that you're leveraging uh, things like this <coughs> so that's very good um, very strong yeah I like this this uh, proposition because it states um, so benefits that you can put it anywhere even if there isn't electricity so very cool there Again, you uh, maybe uh, lose the search, but you just um, condense the elements at the top. I would also remove the link back to the home. If you're sending paid traffic to this page, you don't want any of those traffic leaks. You want to try and keep them on the page. You could have this link, which you do, um, but the biggest thing um, would be to try and minimize any of the elements you've got up here. If you're utilizing a navigation, try and keep it to link to sections on the same page and keep it emotive. So. Why choose Lumi Protect? Um, reviews from our many happy customers, frequently asked questions, fine, that's brilliant. So try and keep it relevant to the context of the page. So in terms of that hero section, very good. Um, you, you're definitely leveraging some of the principles here, so that's a great start. One thing uh, is worth testing is um, obviously emojis on buttons. I know you've got an icon, but um, emoji similar to what Asian power are using here um, works really well so well worth giving that a go so as we scroll down the page remembering that aid of principle we need to consider that we're now trying to pique the interest of your users so looking at this um, not if I'm brutally honest I have no idea the relevance of this um, and again this image doesn't do anything for me it's very small it's out of place um, you've got you're kind of telling the story which is great um, but this is great this should be a nice big headline keeping the lights on is your first line of defense against intruders and then go straight to those benefits like I mentioned previously so maybe um, feel safe at night secure the outside of your home light up your dark spots in just seconds um, with no electricity required and some nice images or icons and then you can go into the ben uh, the features just to explain it so you've got here that it's an ultra bright floodlight um, you can put it anywhere you don't need electricity um, solar powered I'm assuming looking at this um, so you can you can go into the features once you've um, explained the benefits to the user so you're picking their interest um, about how it's going to benefit them and what it can do for them so with those um, with those features. Uh, next up, this is really cool. I like this. Very, very cool because that just shows how simple it really is. Again, if I was buying one of these, I am definitely not a practical person. So this would be super helpful for me to see. I would definitely be willing to buy this knowing that it's super easy. 
to install. So very cool there. And then a nice supporting call to action here. So that's really good. So you're just um, pulling that user out the journey should they want to at this stage, but you're allowing them to flow through. So that's very good. I like that. Um, so this is good. So again, you've got kind of a, a benefit section. Um, you could make your headline a little more emotive. Um, not why you probably need it. Again, when you think about emotion, you just want to get the to tell the user that they they need it. They can't live without it. So um, admit the word probably, um, and do something like top five reasons our customers love the sorry love the uh, Lumi Protect. So top five reasons our our customers love the Lumi Protect. It does this. So brilliant, really cool. Defend. Look at the benefits here. So there's a bit of fear that you're striking here and then obviously selling the, the solution straight away. Um, again, lovely benefit, quick and easy to install. So this is great. So you can emphasize this further up and again, just give it um, a nice emotive headline. Perfect. Um, but so perfect in terms of flow. So you're straight on to desire. So that's absolutely perfect. But again, consider the emotion um, when you are framing this for your users. So uh, thousands of customers are staying protected with the Lumi Protect um, or lighting up their homes with the Lumi Protect. Um, and again, as I mentioned on the previous audit, just uh, bear in mind if you can get the, the full names to display, that's much better. This can sort of air an element of uh, distrust. So um, although the supporting images are very strong, so that's cool. Again, just try and make sure to tidy it up. Again, frequently asked questions, perfect. I think you've probably watched an audit before, so that's great. Hopefully these changes are working well for you. But um, as I mentioned further above, just, just keep it as emotive as possible. So um, frequently asked question, just a bit bland. I know it does what it says on the tin, um, but just tell the user how you can answer their questions and that's perfect. So. Again, if you can get a bit of emotion in these, the light instantly turns on, leaving no space for uh, intruders would be deterred straight away. Just just try and build on these things again. Like I said, you're just trying to pull on a certain heartstring with your users here, but generally really good. Again, you're telling the user to take action. You're, re uh, you're reiterating your guarantee. <clears throat> I would just get your benefits down here. Again, free shipping. I don't think you've mentioned anywhere else unless I missed it. But always a strong thing to pop on there and again just get your benefits in here but you've got your action so that's perfect that's generally a very good page um, some very small work to be done but you you've definitely um, implemented a very strong ADA principle in terms of the flow of the page so that's great in terms of load time looking um, pretty good again as you can get it down excellent but on a, a page like this a sales page built on a platform um, <clears throat> like Shopify um, which I'm just assuming from forward slash pages. I would actually check. <clears throat> yeah, Shopify. Um, yes. So one thing I'm just going to touch on quickly, um, just taking a slight step back. So my apologies, like I said, we're doing these in real time. So as my mind's flowing, I'm thinking of these things, but make sure your meta information and your um, your favicon is as descriptive as possible too. So again, this one doesn't even have a favicon and then it just says Luma Protect. If you can have some sort of strong proposition as your title, it just means when it's going out to socials and in different places, <clears throat> it's pulling that information and leveraging it properly again here. This just says Agent Power. Um, the next ones don't have anything. This one does, so that's good. But I'll get to those now. So just consider that in mind. Okay, so that's Luma Protect. On to the next one, which we've got a wireless stereo mic for content creators. So it looks like a very cool product. Um, lots of different variations, very cool. Looks like you've got some really cool features and benefits here on this image. And features. Lots of features. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so first thing to note, if you're sending paid traffic to this page, it looks like 
it may be a product page. Um, so, as we've mentioned before, and as we always like to mention, the more you can do to tailor these to be individual landing pages, the better. Um, you don't want to give your user any distractions or any reason to be leaving the page, um, if you can help it, because of course, that's just marketing dollars back in your pocket if you can keep them on the page and then obviously get them to order. So there's quite a few things on this page that would we potentially want to omit, um, that being obviously the social logos on the top, um, many of these things, the search bar, um, the about us, the links to the different products, the link to the home, they're all distractions to the user. You want them to land on your page and you want this to be the sole focus of their attention. Um, if that's your intent, of course, um, that's what we're trying to go for here. We're trying to show how to make the most of um, individual optimized landing pages uh, for one goal and this one goal being the sell. So bear that in mind, um, try and take this out to a separate landing page and then start utilizing these principles that we're talking about. Sorry, pardon me. So smart mic is the true wireless stereo mic for content creators. So that's great. So you're speaking to your user. Um, again, if you can try and frame some sort of benefit um, or problem in there um, initially to capture attention, then that'd be great. So you'd have a nice strong proposition with your supporting image. Then down here, you've got um, some accolades and some features. So if you can get some benefits in here, let me see if you've got some on the page. Um, again, these are features. Noise reduction would be huge as um, it's a feature, but you can frame it into a benefit and capture higher quality content with a noise, uh, noise reduction. Six hours battery life, so feature, you could turn it into a benefit record on the go in real time with six hours battery life um, master slave mode again th this is me coming as your average Joe user I'm not too sure what that is but you could probably turn this straight into a benefit as well distribute content on multiple platforms quickly and easily benefit out of the features um, so you certainly do have them. You have benefits you can take from this. So you want to get these framed at the top here. So you'd have a landing page that has the supporting image, the strong proposition, and then the five, seven uh, benefits of the product that come out of the features. Then let's get that social proof. So obviously you've got this here, which is just um, uh, reviews, but let's get a nice testimonial from an influencer or a content creator, someone relevant, um, their picture, their, their quotes and their rating right here and then your action. So straight into your action here, which is nice and clear. Again, this is great. Check out safely using your preferred payment method with the supporting evidence. Now these, you don't have to omit these. They're still very important, but just consider where your user is in the journey on the page. So what you could have is you could have those as um, call outs along the bottom um, check marks with these um, accolades because they're still very important they're strong um, supporting elements but just make sure you're capturing that attention of your user first and speaking to them showing them the benefits before you then go into explaining the features moving down the page what again you need to really utilize the space on this page i think this is from a template potentially so look at pulling it out getting a nice dedicated landing page for it um, and then start sending the user through that journey so we'd go on to the interest so we could have some nice clean images videos whatever it may be um, to support your benefits as we just mentioned so you've got the features mentioned here pull them out into benefits and support them with something so film high quality videos um, with a state of the art noise reduction, a little bit of uh, discussion about it, and then a few more points. Um, and then you can move on to these features. So, again, these are all great features, and I think to the relevant audience, they would speak to them. But you could really call them out here. You could, um, you could make uh, put a lot of emphasis on them, uh, really speak to the user about what they are and how they benefit the user. So, that, why does this feature benefit the user? Why does this feature benefit the user? Why does this benefit the user? Just really think about um, turning everything into as much benefit as possible. And again, you've got some really cool graphics to support this. So really make um, note of these and get them in nice big call outs with the text supporting them. 
So then you're picking the interest. So that's perfect. You've got lots of cool things here. Go into the demonstration as a, uh, a separate section. You could maybe have it see how easy the sorry uh, see how easy the smart mic is to use. See just how easy the smart mic is to use. So you're speaking to the user and then they go, brilliant. Let's have a look. A minute long video, perfect amount of time. Quick watch of that, um, and then straight onto the desire. So you've got this brilliant review here. The more of these you can get, the better. Um, and you've got them here, so you need to bring them together. Um, so that you've got a nice strong section of social proof. Again, you've done really well here. You've got the names on there, images, really strong reviews. I mean, there's some styling issues that need to be sorted out, um, which you can do. But again, in terms of actual social proof and what you have, very, very cool. The photos of people in it, really cool. So you've got the right elements here. It's just about organizing them. Again, the specifications could come up in your interest section, but really spice it up if you can. This is what someone might feed in the brochure or on the box if you can get it spiced up um, just to show them exactly these different technologies and features, then brilliant. Um, and then let's move on to action. So let's see if you've got notes of UN straight at the bottom here with the reviews and then you go straight into your footer. Now, whilst this information may be important, um, I can understand that you still need to capture that one last action section. So again, as I've mentioned before, um, reiterate your strong proposition, show that supporting image, show that social proof, and then just give them this action section again, because you've led them through a journey, they've landed on the page, captured their attention, piqued their interest, they're seeing how the benefit, um, how the product benefits them, what the features are and the benefits of those features, the uh, amount of incredible people using this, sorry, Mr. FAQ, so that's perfect, straight after desire, um, how many smart mics do I need? Why do I need to use this function? What is your ship? Yeah, so brilliant, really cool. Um, but then get your action section. So utilizing this scrolling CTA is perfect, especially on mobile, all of these pages on mobile. A really cool thing you can do is leverage that scrolling call to action for your users. Again, you've got limited real estate and pages can become relatively long when you're trying to uh, lead that user through that journey. So that scrolling CTA is very cool. So again, um, looks like a super cool product. You really need to definitely work on this page. I see this as a product page, um, which again, as a product page, there are things I would do, but um, if you were to use this as a landing page and drive traffic to it, I would be making significant changes very quickly, more in line with these so that they're very targeted to the one product and they lead the user through the journey. So um, bear in mind with that ADA principle, um, really leverage that social proof and trust seals, get that proposition framed at the top of the page, get those benefits framed and lead that user through that journey. Cool. Sorry guys, I'm just going to take another sip of my drink. As we carry on with the audits, we've got a few more to go. Um, sorry, one thing I didn't check on that one. Let's do it now. <clears throat> Is your load speed. Let's have a little look at that. <clears throat> Again, bear with us. We're doing these in real time. We're looking at these pages for the first time. So um, it's good to really get an impression of what you guys are doing and the improvements you can make. And what we want you to do is go away. Again, if we aren't auditing your pages, still take these tips and implement them on your page. So the ADA principle, the flow of that page where you're capturing the attention, the interest, the desire, the action. Take that principle and leverage it on your landing page. The emojis on buttons, the strong proposition, the social proof above the fold. You can implement these on any page and follow a very prescribed flow, which should increase your conversion rate. So always bear that in mind. Again, you've got some good performance here. A few things you could probably do, especially with image compression. Um, I'm aware that you had a few videos on the page, so just um, bear that in mind when uh, building this page but generally very good okay next up quote solver so what we have here is um, a few more planning lead gen page now this is an interesting one we actually did um, an initial design for this client which is based on this and, and they've gone and um, implemented some really cool improvements so uh, it's performing really well so this audit on this page is actually a very positive one um, because I have actually seen this page before, which is great. So uh, a few things to note on this page. So lead gen, obviously slightly different. 
to the product and e-com pages we've seen so far. Um, again, bear in mind your audience, bear in mind um, the intent and the stage of the cycle that they're at. Um, this is a very minimal page, so uh, there's obviously a supporting advertorial that goes before it that sells the customer to the product. So with that in mind, I think simplicity and the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid, is very key here. Um, you've already pre-sold the user on the product and why they need it with the advertorial or the pre-sale. So now it's just about getting them to take action. And to get them to take action, you just really need to leverage those critical elements above the fold um, and keep it simple. So here they've got a very strong proposition. They're saying what you get, the benefit is peace of mind and what with, so with affordable funeral plans. They're then backing that up by saying, you can get a free quote below and it only takes 30 seconds. So I'm already thinking, I want peace of mind. I'm looking for a few more plans. This is quick and easy. It's not gonna cost me anything. That's great. Nice clear form area here um, with progress bar. So again, you can see how far through the process you are. Now what they've done, um, really cool thing to test with lead gen. Um, it does depend on the offer, but the multi-step um, image choice or selection uh, is a really cool thing to test. So if you've got a lot of questions to ask or potentially mundane questions to ask, spice them up a bit by putting them in a multi-step dynamic uh, format with images just to really make it clear. And then what you can do with this multi-step is you can do um, conditional uh, redirection. So if they answer a certain question, you can direct them on a certain path um, or vice versa. So yeah, really good here. You've got the um, clear question, the progress of the user knows where they are in the funnel. Um, you've got trust seals and then you've got the social proof that sits just above the fold as well. So generally very good. Now, if this was, um, if this didn't have an advertorial sat before it, or this was the root of the site and maybe trying to sell the product a bit more, there would be some things to consider such as the, um, uh, the interest and benefits how it works, any frequently asked questions. It's definitely something worth testing, I would say, on this page is, um, so this is cool, um, trusted brands, again, trust deals and social proof all in there, really cool. I think if you could test FAQs, it may help because again, funeral planning could be one of those things that people don't necessarily understand. Um, it's quite new to a lot of people. They may have read a lot about it elsewhere, but if you can do your best to demystify it on this landing page then that's brilliant because wherever you may be sending them from i'm sure there may be questions that pop up so just just little things like how much are funeral plans so you can say starting from x amount per day and again frame that not as um 10 pound a month or 30 pound a month frame it in a daily breakdown of that cost so that it sounds like pennies um so that's a good thing um is this service free? Is there any obligation to take up the quote? What happens once I've filled in my details? Just put those questions on the page so the user doesn't have to go anywhere. They don't have to contact you. And of course you reassure them at this point. Um, you reassure them at this point that filling out the form is quick, simple, and obviously they have no commitment to do so. So yeah, generally a very good page. I'm gonna have a little look at the load speed and uh, the built with. Let's have a little look. <clears throat> Again, so just some things to consider there. Um, generally very good utilizing all the critical elements. Again, if you notice on this page, you can do similar with econ pages, there's no traffic leak. So you are, obviously you can link back to um, the routes here, but generally keep your traffic leaks minimal. You've got one clean, uh, action point here a little different again if you want to frame some benefits here as some check marks is well worth trying um, you've got your action section at the bottom with a strong proposition so that's great let's have a little look um, yeah so custom built so that's perfect body cut is very lightweight yeah nice and lightweight quick load time Again, consider the core audience may be a bit older for a uh, few more plans. So um, it's quick, no matter where they're viewing it, it's going to load quickly. And again, it's been kept fairly simple. So nice, clean colors, 
strong action so there's no distractions there's no confusion on here so brilliant that's quote solver and let's have a look at the next one okay really cool definitely looks like a very cool product so I love this um, unique collars for unique dogs okay so you're telling me what you're doing and who it's benefiting so that's very cool um, you're utilizing the social proof above the fold um, and just flow through your page generally a very clean page you're obviously leveraging white space very well very cool with this social proof section very cool i like that you've made this relevant to the end user but let's just go okay brilliant cool so generally a very good page um Again, I'm guessing built on Shopify, but I will search that just to confirm because I don't want to make assumptions. Let's check your load speed. <clears throat> and again, um, you're generally following the prescribed principles very well here. Um, you've got a proposition. I'm just trying to think how you could maybe frame that to be to show a bit more of a benefit. Well, either a problem of other colors or a benefit of using your color. Um, but obviously the social proof is, is absolutely excellent and the call to action too. Um, that's a very bold and striking photo and um, whether this is intentional or not, but having the dog look across towards the content is very powerful. Something really cool you can do to sort of direct the user to where you want them to be. So very cool there. Now what I would do here, so this is this headline doesn't necessarily explain anything to me um, and it's great that you're telling the story because that is piquing my interest um, but again it'd just be cool to see some benefits of the product these are more like features telling the story so really cool i think that's that's great to pull the user into the journey but just try and give it some context here um, with a stronger headline um, this is very cool to see how, and again, with your captive audience, I think this could be very strong because it's it's clearly about uh, the impact you're having on both the environment and um, social aspects of the world. So that's very cool. I mean, even this is quite a strong proposition for up there, but I'm guessing it flows with how your page is going. See, this is really cool. That's a very strong statement. And that could be used as a, a great proposition at the top. And, and some of the sort of features that they're all handmade. Um, each color is unique. That you get excitement in the surprise of which color you'll receive. Um, so really cool. Th these are all things you should really highlight. Again, um, frame this as a bit more motive. So the features are, um, you can have three reasons why. Um, our customers love the sorry what is it called uh, the Amore dog collars um, and again just try and frame these features into um, benefits handwoven using uh, Transado Amano technique for high quality uh, durable last um, brass finished steel hardware so that you don't lose them just just there's a benefit off the back of it so it, it's going to last you you're not going to lose it it's padded for your dog's comfort just try and frame them a little bit uh, more as benefits love this so really cool um, video testimonials this is excellent social proof and again photos with the top dogs a very cool quirky statement um, and obviously it just speaks to the end user because these are dog lovers they love seeing your product um, on other dogs I mean this is brilliant really cool so that's excellent really cool really strong social proof again I think you may have watched audits before looking at this so you've got the frequently asked questions again just try and frame it a little bit more emotive so that you're going through the journey but um, really state the question so um, how do I know which uh, size to choose for my dog and then you could then they can answer that question um, what makes these collars one of a kind? And then you tell the story there. How do I ensure I get the most out of my 
uh, a more collar or how do I care for my more collar? So you've asked it here, who are the artisans? Brilliant. Perfect. So you, you frame these bottom ones as questions, but you've not so much at the top. And what's your warranty and returns policy? Just frame that again. Lovely little support and bit here. Again, just add some emotion to the uh, the page and then very strong trust seal. So again, try to include these a bit more throughout the page and leverage them where possible. You've got lots of different payment options, which is really cool. <clears throat> this can potentially come just uh, above the ordering, but again, you've got a very strong action section. So it, it breaks it down into a very simplified step. Choose your color size. Um, <clears throat> So nice and easy. And again, some social proof just to sit with it, some emojis directing the user where you want them to be. Um, so that's perfect, really cool. So generally, very good page. Um, again, you're following the flow very well. It's just about really thinking about the emotion of the user, the benefits for the user, both as the dog, because the, the uh, customer is gonna care about what their dog gets out of it, but also for the customer as well. So that it's going to last them, that their dog's going to be comfortable, that it's not going to break and be lost. And then obviously um, that they could be talked with down. So little things like that, again, persuasion principles um, can be utilized here. So yeah, built on Shopify, that's cool. So using a page builder, so you should be able to leverage those uh, principles very well. Um, loading quite slowly according to this. Um, so worth checking this on multiple devices because again, depending on where you're sending your traffic, even on desktop, that load time is significantly high. Um, you would want to bring that down to two to three seconds again, because every second that that's that there's an increase on that load time, you're losing um, a massive amount of potential conversion. So if you can bring that down by five seconds, you're going to see a You may even see sort of a, 10 20 50 percent increase on, on what you're currently getting so just bear that in mind and again uh, pingdom.com does uh, offer you some advice on this so you've got scripts that seem to be causing a lot of issues you've got um, some videos that, again that are taking time to load um, and then if you go down here you'll see the waterfall which actually breaks things down a bit more for you so have a developer look at those or look at them yourself um, and just try and bring that down. Uh, you should see a massive benefit. Cool. Okay, guys. So I'm just gonna have another quick drink because I'm talking a lot. Appreciate you watching up to this stage. Again, just a really quick reminder: if you're not in the landing page lab already, please head to landingpagelab.com. That will redirect you to our Facebook group, free to join. Um, lots of hints, tips, advice in there. And again, we'll be asking our members to drop their links so that we can audit pages. So we may be able to audit your page sometime soon if you're not subscribed on our youtube channel just head to youtube search landing page guys and hit that big subscribe button on the page again we're sharing lots of really useful tips um, webinars and interviews that we're having um, with uh, conversion masters so get on there get notified and start implementing these tips to improve your conversion rate Okay, so last audit for this video is going to be, sorry guys, bear with me. Um, it's going to be Patterson's Pro Cleaning. Okay, excellent. So let me just take a quick look at this page. Again, as mentioned, uh, first time viewing these pages. So what I just want to do is run through have a quick look at the principles before I get going. Um, and again, that five second test, I'm landing on this page, I'm seeing things uh, for the first time, which is really cool. And I encourage you to get people to do that to really audit your pages as well. So first thing I notice here is that on this page there, there is a lot of color and potentially um, a lot of noise when I first land on the page. Now, whilst I can see that you've got a lot of the critical elements in place, my eyes, track all over the place as I'm trying to find my way on this page. Um, <clears throat> this header section, very large, um, potentially unnecessary because these elements can be called out further in the page. I would look at minimizing this uh, section up here. So if you look back at quote, quote solver, very small header with some emphasis on the logo. And then what you could have is your, your call to action and maybe your trust still just smaller at the top there. 
and then you've got more room for your hero section where you're going to really frame your strong proposition um, you've got some features so these are features again try and frame those benefits if you can this is a really cool touch um, really adds a personal element to the site and obviously these uh, accolades or accreditations are really important sorry uh, for your page <clears throat> so that's cool um, so yeah look at minimizing this maybe um, trying to utilize a bit of white space um, just so that you put emphasis on the critical elements so that proposition that supporting image the benefits three to five again you've, you've done that very well um, but just think about these are these are features so um, the guarantee is a feature that's that's more like a benefit but again just think how it can benefit your user so what they're getting out of your service so again with landing page guys um, we're saying that we're skyrocketing conversion rates or increasing um, business sales and conversions so that's the benefit you're getting more sales you're getting more conversions and then you're getting it with the high converting landing pages so just think about how you can frame it in that way um, leveraging this social proof here really good that's great that's above the fold again it will be pulled up more if you um, look at minimizing this but just get a strong call to action here as well. You've got your phone number at the top, which does blend into the background, but look at trying to get it in this hero section so that you've got all of those critical elements in one place. Again, um, if we look back at some of the other ones from this audit, um, white space is really utilized really well, strong proposition, um, social proof and testimonial, and then that um, call to action. So for you, again, uh, receiving the call looks like it's one of your strongest propositions and if this is on mobile you would need to make sure that that's click to call which looking at the code it is so that's brilliant okay um so that's the attention section so you've generally got some of the the right elements in there it's just about cleaning it up slight rework and just putting some emphasis on uh, some of the core features okay so really cool um going straight in with a question and then telling a bit of a story again just make sure that you're framing benefits this is really cool showing this evidence straight away um, but if you've got some benefits um, something like this um, again generally their features eco-friendly a feature the fast drying times are potentially a feature but um, frame it so that there's benefits so uh, fast drying time so you're not disturbed in your day-to-day -day activity or you can go back to living your normal life results to be proud of that um, your friends and family will benefit from so so again just frame it as a benefit um, apologies if there's noise in the background that is my son we're currently working from home during this uh, coronavirus um, pandemic so uh, it's uh, my son in the background so I do apologize anyway moving on down the page so you've generally got this right again just try and get some uh, benefits in there keep these as features but just make sure there's benefits in them you've got lots of um, call to action so that's great and then you've gone straight on to desire so I love this you've got some reviews some social proof in here and then this as well also factors as desire so you're showing results so people will start picturing their own carpets, their own uh, stairwells, their own um, spillages and, and seeing the results they could get if they hired you guys. So that's really cool. Keep that social proof. Maybe switch them around, but that's something to test. But your headlines um, are really cool. So you're making it relevant to the locality um, and you're just telling a bit of a story. Again, really strong power was here. So sensational difference we've made. Look at the sensational difference. So. To me, that speaks a lot because you're you're pulling on emotion, you're telling a story, and I'm not just, instead of just going power work where it doesn't tell a story, you're pulling the user through that journey. So that's really good. Um, that's something everyone needs to consider when they're building out their landing pages. I like this call out because again, this just adds a bit of trust um, and really frames that you take perfection in what you do. Um, what I would also include, we say on most pages because it really does work, is the FAQ. So. Um, you may have some really obvious questions that people ask you. Um, is there a free quote? How long will the cleaning take? Do you only do houses? Do you do commercial premises? Um, what's your guarantee? Um, things like this. Really obvious questions that 
you could be um, given the use of the ants to straight away on your page instead of, instead of having them um, look elsewhere. So that's really good. And then you've gone straight into your action section, which is great. Now, I noticed down here you've got two actions. Um, I'm assuming your primary action is cool based on um, how many of these you've got throughout the page. But you've also got the form, which isn't a problem when it gets to this point because um, it's still going to capture the lead and you've not made... Um, too much of a fuss about it elsewhere just look at strengthening this proposition so if you are offering free quotes um, then maybe change that here to say or contact us or tell us about your uh, job and we'll be in touch to discuss your free quotes so just make it a bit more emotive um, in fact you've said it on this one so again just just reiterate that here and um, reiterate that throughout the page but generally really good flow once you get through the page you're utilizing these colors really well you're making sure there's emphasis on these elements. It's just this hero section that's quite loud. <clears throat> so just consider that when um, when doing this. But generally, the Ada principle, very good. The proposition, like I said, just frame it into um, a benefit and tell the user what they're getting. Let's have a quick look on here. <clears throat> Bear with me here. Okay, so you, maybe you're using WordPress with a, a, a builder in there, so that's fine. Again, probably lots of flexibility on what you can do with this, so really have a play around and start testing things, um, especially with regards to the content um, and the flow of the page. You, you're generally there. I think you've implemented things from an audit previously, which is really cool, or, or that you've watched an audit, so that's great. Uh, load speed. Um, <clears throat> what have I done there? Bear with me. I think it's pulling the root of your site instead of the page I'm seeing, so that's a little bit different. Um, let's see what it does here. I think I've only added the Facebook clip ID, which wouldn't. <clears throat> okay, so let's have a look. There's definitely some improvements to be made there. Again, image heavy, so. By tidying up that top section, you're potentially looking at reducing the images. Again, what you can do on these pages, uh, sorry to mention this so late, is you can also inspect them when you're in Chrome. So again, you could see um, <clears throat> in here sorry, what's taking time to load. And again, what you can do in Chrome, although I recommend you do this um, on your local devices, you, you can also test the uh, responsiveness of it too. Um, again, so just looking at the pages on responsive devices, very critical. So you might want a fixed call to action, especially if it's calling you're going for. Um, but generally very good. Okay, guys, so that's uh, all of the audits I've got for today. Um, hopefully they're of some use. Hopefully, like I said, even if we haven't audited your page, hopefully you can go away and implement some of these principles um, on your own landing pages. So just think of that Ada principle. Think of those strong propositions that, either frame a problem or a benefit for the user and how you do it think about yeah, how they flow through the page think about the critical elements load speeds as well um, your responsibility and the adaption on mobile devices all of these things just have a think implement them on your pages hop on into the landing page lab by all means drop your links whenever you want to and um, all of our members in there will be happy to critique your pages do five second tests whatever it may be if you've got any questions we'd be happy to answer them in there um, and then one final thing from me if you do implement these changes and you're getting benefits from what you're seeing on these audits um, or, or in the lab or you're implementing anything then please uh, please do just drop us a review on Facebook or Google wherever it may be um, and obviously let us know contact us directly just to tell us that you're seeing improvements from these changes because it's the reason we do this. We're here to educate. We're here to help people improve their conversion rates. Um, so to hear these real life stories that we've been hearing from the lab has been uh, changing for us as well. So we really appreciate that. Um, until next time, guys, hope you enjoyed that audit. If there's anything you need, hop on into the lab. Let us know and we'll see you very soon.